Terry Labonte comes up, or rather, uh, Andretti bumps the five car in the back end. Meanwhile, Bobby Hamilton challenging Andretti there for a while. Looks like Jeff is going to be able to win this thing. Here he is in the fourth corner, Jeff Gordon comes down and takes the checkered flag. There's a scramble for position behind Bobby Labonte, or rather Hamilton gets third. And Andretti lost about three positions there on that last lap. He got a little bump from Bobby Hamilton there, coming off of turn four, got him sideways. Andretti did, had to slow down a little bit and get off the gas, and that cost him. Jerry's with Ray Ebernham. Wow, what drama on huh? those last two laps. That was wild up there in turn one and two. Well, you're not kidding. I don't know what was going on there, but, uh, you know, thank God we won it. You know, we got to gotta thank God first, and I probably prayed harder to him than I have in a long time, but I don't know how much stomach lining I'm going to have left if we keep having finishes like this. I want to thank DuPont, Coca-Cola, Quaker State, Rick Hendrick, everybody that's worked on this deal, and that little guy driving that car right there. He does a heck of a job. All right, well, let his crew chief go over and give his driver a high five. Win number nine in 1996. So Gordon and Labonte finish in first and second, but look what happened behind those two as the field scrambled for the third position and on back. Well, here we see Bobby Hamilton right on the back bumper of John Andretti. There he hits him, gets him loose squarely. Here comes Hamilton, and Andretti comes back into him, but it was too late. Rick Mass gets by as well, and did Morgan get by too? No, I, I don't know. Don't know. No, I don't think so before he got to the finish line. <laughs> now, let's watch it from the end car here. This is Kyle Petty's car. Wow. <laughs> Quite a scramble there on the last lap. But in any case, Jeff Gordon has won his ninth race of 1996. He's won the wow. last, the three of the last four events. Yeah. It's its 18th career win and fourth on a short track. What a day for Jeff Gordon and Team Hendrick, as a matter of fact. So Jeff cools off just a little bit after a grueling day on the racetrack. Takes the steering wheel off. He's ready to step out of the car and uh, receive the uh, congratulations of the throng gathered here this afternoon. Our McDonald's winner circle interview, Dr. Jerry Punch. Boy, Jeff, uh, what a what a finish! Uh, let's go back with four laps to go. Uh, that that was a close one. Man, I tell you what, my, my teammate had me nervous there. Uh, he's so smooth and so good, and he's been through you know so many different things. I didn't know if I could hold him off, but. Uh, Oh, man, I tell you what, I was so glad to see a caution there with about 25 to go. Uh, that set of tires we had on before that last caution or before that last set just wasn't really uh, the best set for us. And uh, that last set was awesome, though. And uh, guys got us out front. It was a total team effort. And uh, I want to thank DuPont Automotive Finishes. Goodyear had a great tire today, Quaker State and Coca-Cola. Man, this is, uh, I tell you, this is a meaningful uh, win right here to win at a, a short track like Martinsville. Wow, you know, you got to have a complete day. Talking about a complete day. Let's go back to, to Dolan back spin with a few laps to go. You had to come off the curb to be able to miss him down there. Well, it wasn't so much him as uh, Dave Marcus. I didn't know which way he was going to go. And I saw that there was room on the inside, and I thought I was the only one going to go down there. But uh, Dave uh, shot to the bottom, too. And I had to go up on the, on the grass and then race Terry back to the to the line because we knew you know, it might under, end under caution or we we're going to have a real uh, shootout. I know you said it's meaningful to win here at Martinsville, but meeting your teammate, Terry Labonte, your friend and teammate, I mean, what a day he had coming back from a lap down. <clears throat> You know, when he had to get his lap back, I couldn't hold him off. I knew he was going to be a factor later on in the race as fast as he was running. And, uh, you know, I know what these Hendrick cars can do. I know what these Hendrick motors can do. And uh, they certainly showed it today. And, uh, you know, if there's anybody I'm going to be nervous about, it's going to be my own teammates. And uh, he was strong today. But we did our job. We, uh, you know, we gave 100% and, uh, and just never gave up and uh, had a lot of patience today. You know, I kind of I kind of know what those guys feel like now following uh, Richard Petty back all those years because I followed that SD. Pontiac, all, all STP Pontiac all day. 
Hey, whoops, you got a bonus of 70 grand. Last week, look behind you. You got 10 more thousand. I know you don't need the money, but uh, Brooke will find some place to put it. Oh, I'm sure, uh, you know, Rick Hendrick and myself will find something really good to, to, to make that money goes towards. Uh, but, you know, it's more than just the money. It's a win. This is this an unbelievable feel, and I, I'm pretty shocked right now. Ninth win on the year, the Hendrick Motors, the Hendrick Cars, and how about those Hendrick drivers finishing 1-2 here at Martinsville, Bob? Here are the unofficial results from the Haynes 500 here at Martinsville. Now the little yellow uh, arrows indicate those who led a lap and the double arrow there by Bobby Hamilton's name indicates that he led the most laps. There were eight cars on the lead lap when the checkered flag dropped. So Jeff Gordon will gain five points today on Terry Labonte. We'll show you the points here in just a minute after you see the field run down. There's Dale Earnhardt down there in 15th position and Dale Jarrett in 16th. We didn't have a great deal of lap leaders today. That's about the least this year, I believe. Yeah. As you take a look down at the uh, final standings, though, you will see that Rusty Wallace, who was the first out, did uh, lead a lap. In fact, he led quite a few there at the beginning before trouble erupted. Now, here are the point standings. The top five stayed the same. Jeff Gordon with an 81-point advantage on Terry Labonte heading to North Wilkesboro. Jarrett Earnhardt and Martin continue to be third, fourth, and fifth. But six through ten, Ernie Irvin gained three positions. Ken Strader stayed the same. Rudd lost two. Wallace lost one, and Sterling Marlin stayed in 10th position, 835 laps behind. Congratulations to Jeff Gordon, who has won here this afternoon. Three of the last four races, Jeff Gordon has driven to victory lane. And he remains atop the point standings for Ned Jarrett, Benny Parsons, John Kernan, Bill Weber, and Dr. Jerry Punch. I'm Bob Jenkins. Thank you for joining us here on ESPN. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.